Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I basically want to bring to you a PR unboxing slash makeup haul. I've been buying a lot of makeup and also been receiving makeup from brands, well, a brand. And I just want to share with you guys everything that I got and, you know, sit down and talk about makeup. So if you guys want to see that, then please keep on watching. Firstly, I'm going to show you guys what I got in PR. So I got PR from this brand called Sparkling Rose Cosmetics. And this brand is honestly something you would definitely see in Sephora. It's so elegant, so chic, and so put together. I absolutely love the packaging and I can't wait to share with you guys what I got. By the way, I did start trying stuff out from this brand and start promoting it. If you guys want to see that, then I'll leave the link to my TikTok and my Instagram picture down below. So the first things that I got were lashes. I absolutely love these lashes. Like I love the packaging and everything, especially the packaging on these. They just slide out and I'm going to basically just show you guys the types of lashes that I got. By the way, this brand is vegan and cruelty free so they don't test on animals and they don't harm any animals which I absolutely love. So this is in the style Foxy. I'm just going to take it out so you guys can see. This is absolutely beautiful. This is in the style Fierce. And I love how accessible her lashes are and how simple they are. You can honestly pair these with any makeup look. This one is in the style Graceful, which is absolutely adorable. And lastly, we have Goals. I'm going to take out the packaging to show you guys. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this so much. Next, she sent over her brush set, which comes in this cute little purse. Like, honestly, if I had to go out and there was nothing matching with my outfit and this matched perfectly, I would most definitely just take out my brushes and use this as a clutch. This is super cute. And when you open them, all her brushes are inside. Now, I did tell you guys that I use this in a makeup tutorial, so the plastic isn't on these, but it, they do come with plastic and everything, and I absolutely love how fluffy they are. And this is what the powder brush looks like. This is what the foundation brush looks like. Smaller powder brush or a contour brush. A blending brush. A flat concealer brush. An eyeliner or eyebrow brush, a spoolie brush, another eyebrow brush, like a detailed smudger brush, another concealer brush, but this one is smaller. I did use this one to carve out my brows. An even smaller smudger brush. And lastly, a shadow brush. I had so much fun with this one. And those are all her brushes. Again, everything is vegan and cruelty free. I absolutely love this brush set. The powder brush is godly. The, everything is godly, guys. Like, she did well when choosing these brushes. Next, she was kind enough to send over her lip scrub kit. So let me just open that for you guys. So firstly, this is her lip scrub brush. And this resembles a toothbrush. And I could tell already, like, this is gonna do the job. And this will most definitely take up all the dead skin cells and plump up your lips. She also gifted me her Sparkling Rose Cosmetics Strawberry Lip Scrub. And I love her packaging, guys. It comes with a plastic seal. So you know your product is like new and fresh. And this is what her lip scrub looks like. And it honestly smells so amazing i can't wait to start using this and i love that it's not too oily and with that she also has a spatula so you can guarantee that your lip scrub will stay very 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 hygienic and fresh and also she was very kind enough to send over her rose i know that customers get receive this rose when they place an order i think $50 or up and that was all from sparkling rose cosmetics thank you so much for sending over a PR package for me I can't wait to try out everything and you guys 
just wait till I start using everything. Be sure to follow my TikTok and my Instagram for more looks. And if you guys want to see any of these lashes, please comment down below. I'll be sure to incorporate them in my next make tutorials. The okay, PR unboxing is finished. I'm going to start on the Sephora haul now. I grabbed a bunch of stuff at Sephora. I went a little crazy. There were so many things that I wanted to try. And boy, did I pick up a lot of things. I mean, the 20% off is only twice a year, so why not, right? So the first thing that I picked up was this Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. Oh, wait number three this helps repairs and strengthens and it's for all hair types i love this this is not a conditioner it's more like a protein bond to basically help your hair stop breaking in the shower and this is mostly for damaged hair i don't really have damaged hair but i am trying to grow my hair out next i got the sephora body glow body cream I saw this and I saw that it was vegan and cruelty free and I just had to pick it up. We all know summer is around the corner and we want to glow. Honestly, we want to glow. We want to, you know, show some skin. So I thought this would be perfect. It does have an illuminator inside of it. So when the sun touches your skin, you will glow like a goddess. I'm just going to put some on. Maybe I can show you guys how it is. Do you guys see that? This lighting is not doing it justice. I already wore this out and I absolutely love like, the color that it gives my skin. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it has a very, 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 very strong fragrance. So people who are allergic to fragrance or get allergic reactions to fragrance will probably not like this product and i also do know that fragrances do dry out the skin so if you guys want to stay away from fragrance i do not recommend this for you guys but if you don't mind then i definitely recommend checking this out next i got this sephora <laughs> i was reading the wrong side next i got this a sephora melting cleansing balm and i did use this once that's why there's a couple of dabs inside of it i don't really like it i did use it once i don't really like it but i don't hate it i just need to keep using it and i will most definitely update you guys this is meant to cleanse your skin while taking off your makeup and yeah i i didn't really find that it took off my makeup completely it just basically smeared everything everywhere and i don't really like that in a cleansing balm because i want to take off all my makeup especially after a long day with a full beat face i want something that works 100 percent. so i will keep you guys updated on this next i picked up this verb ghost oil smoothing moringa blend plus weightless hair oil i most definitely had to pick this up because i heard so many good things about it i just started blow drying my hair again and straightening my hair again and i wanted something that will basically not weigh it down but provide my hair with so much shine and i heard this does that and i cannot wait to check this out i heard this brand is vegan and cruelty free let me see and it also has no parabens, no gluten, no sulfates. It says Verb Ghost Oil is a vanishing daily restorative oil that revitalizes hair from roots to ends. Integrated Barranca oil blends enriches the hair shaft with essential nutrients that naturally smooth frizz and promote radiant shine for all hair types. And I know this is usually meant for females or males who have thin hair that gets oily super quickly and that is most definitely me i cannot wait to try this product out because my hair is very 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 frizzy and i just want it a little bit sleek next i picked up this a fancy beauty by rihanna ease drops blurring skin tint and i have been hearing so many good things about it i kind of want to do a first impressions for you guys because i've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews but you guys know 
summer is coming around you're not going to want a heavy cake base on your face you're not going to want a full coverage foundation on your face and especially if you're just running out running errands you're not going to want a full beat on your face and i heard this is really good for it i got the i got shade number 18 and it is a light to medium coverage it's for all skin tones it blurs and blends to instant perfection and it's light as air i cannot wait to try this out because i have high expectations for it i do kind of like the the bottle that it comes in so i can just put it on my face blend it out with the brush and go so i will most definitely update you guys with this as well and honestly hopefully i got the right shade on it let's actually test this out on the hand right now i trusted sephora to color match me and this is what it looks like yeah i can most definitely see that it is very light coverage and i love that it also does not dry my skin out i cannot wait to put this on my face now if you guys want to see a first impression on this then comment down below next from fenty beauty i picked up this fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch a setting powder in the shade hazelnut so yeah i got a darker shade and this is what it looks like i cannot wait to bake with this like i heard so many good reviews one of my best friends swears by this product and she doesn't have oily skin i do have oily skin so i can't wait to literally take a brush and put this all over my face because i have so many high expectations for this fancy beauty honestly raises the bar on a lot of makeup products so i cannot wait to try this especially since i love everything from their pro filter line next i picked up this yls beauty triple fix serum foundation this has ha which is hyaluronic acid turmeric and ashwandanga i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but yeah hopefully i got the right shade because again i did use I did use Sephora's color match and it's also vegan and cruelty free so this is what the bottle looks like and at first impression on this I love the packaging the packaging is unlike any other I love how sleek it is I also love that it comes with a pump and let's just see if this is um, okay I think this is a little bit too dark for me I think this is a little bit too dark for me yeah it probably will be a little bit too dark for me mm -hmm. so that is it there but honestly we can make it work because i have a lot of light concealers and i i'm pretty sure i can make this work it's supposed to honestly hydrate and i'm so excited i get so excited when i hear the word hydrate because again summer is coming around and i don't really want to use things that will mattify my skin really because i am just gonna let my oils on my face live their best life during the summertime and i cannot wait to try this it feels honestly amazing on my hand it feels like it really does provide a hydrating effect and moisturizes my skin and i can't wait to see or experience all the things that it claims to do i cannot wait to try this maybe i'll do this in another first impressions so you guys can experience with me how this foundation plays out on the skin the next thing that i got was from tara 28 and i love how natural this brand is i think the theme for this sephora haul was natural actually no because you guys have to see the next couple of things that i'm gonna bring to you but i have been loving natural makeup lately so this tara 28 shine on lip jelly in the shade xoxo i wanted to try this basically because i've been wanting to try the glossier um lip jelly or lip tint or whatever it is but i can already tell this is gonna leave a nice red color
color on my lips and this is what it looks like it's a really bad place to swatch but yeah i can't wait to use this on my lips if i didn't have anything on my lips right now i would most definitely be putting this on but this doesn't have a fragrance inside of it which a lot of people will love because they don't like fragrances in their makeup so this is the second lip jelly that i own i have the purple one and i love that one so i can't wait to try this one out the next thing that i got was this becca ultimate coverage long wear concealer in the shade cedar something has told me that i tried this out before like it just looks familiar on the outside no you know what it was i tried the foundation but this is the shade that i got honestly it's a bit lighter but that's good because i did get a darker foundation and it's supposed to be like full coverage i think let me see yeah it is supposed to be full coverage and that's really good because finals are really bringing out the dark circles under my eyes so i love that this concealer is full coverage again i did get it in the shade cedar and i cannot wait to try this out when i'm beating my face okay last three things that i got from sephora this is honestly gonna take all night because i got like 14 things from elf and like another 10 things from ulta so i'm gonna try to make it quick for you guys so next i got this kat von d 24 hour super brow longwear pomade i have been loving pomades when doing my brows i don't really like the brow pencils i i like to have a lot of control of how much product goes on the brush and then putting it on my brows that's why i normally gravitate towards pomades and i got it in the shade dark brown and this is what the packaging looks like super cute and when you open it product is still new i cannot wait to try this this had so many raving reviews so i have high hopes for this coming to a tutorial near you <laughs> next i got this eyeshadow palette from dominique cosmetics this is their rustic glam eyeshadow palette and one of the main reasons that i got this palette was one it was discounted and then i could use my 20 percent off so it was extremely discounted and two i love the celestial storm palette i think that's what it's called by her no, Celestial Thunder. Celestial Thunder, this one. I absolutely love that eyeshadow palette. That's why I picked up another one and I just really gravitated towards these colors. And I think this one is limited edition, so I had time to grab the other eyeshadow palette. If this palette is anything like the other one, then I will fall in love with it all over again. I can't wait to do more eyeshadow looks for you guys because you guys have been loving my eyeshadow looks lately okay last thing that i picked up was this huda beauty all over body highlighter i don't know what shade this is in let me just open it and see okay this is in the shade aurora it looks like this i love the packaging however it is too bulky i wish it was a bit smaller because i know that we're not getting all of that product um but i did try this and the only thing that i don't like about it is that it looks like it's like 95% oil and 5% pigment which it's just gonna hydrate my skin and not make me glow like I wanted more but I will give this another chance if you guys want to see how this performs as well just again comment it down below but for right now I kind of don't like it i will most definitely let you guys know if i change my mind on this product because i really do want to like it but for right now i don't and lastly i got two samples because i placed an online order um and they're from the pharmacy the brand pharmacy they're from the brand pharmacy 
This is the Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa and Papaya. I have been wanting to try this brand out for a long time and I don't know why I skipped over it this sale but I will be checking them out and you guys will most definitely see a haul with the pharmacy inside of it. I've been really getting in, back into skincare. I want to take care of my skin more because I have neglected it for the longest time. Honestly, I haven't had a time, but I do want to get back into skincare and sharing with you guys what works for me. Maybe it can work for you. But yeah, that's it from Sephora. Let me just put everything, you know, somewhere so I can make room for the other things. Next, I want to share with you guys what I got from e.l.f. So, I want to actually show you guys how cute their packaging is. So, this is what their packaging looks like. I love that the color and everything. I didn't expect that from this brand. And it comes with so much crinkle paper. It's just super pretty. And I got a lot of stuff from here, guys. Like, a lot of stuff. So, I can't wait to share with you guys. Let me just put this crinkle paper out of the way so I can basically guys show you guys everything. So, this is what the box looks like inside. Like, I did some damage here. Okay, so. They were having, in my defense, they were having a big sale and I just had to take advantage of some things. So, First things first, I got this e.l.f. Retro Paradise Glow Up Body Oil and this is supposed to be a dupe in my eyes. In my opinion, this is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty um, body thing that I just showed you guys and I cannot wait to try this. I didn't try anything from e.l.f. since I got it. I have been holding out for you guys so yes I'll try on this hand so it does come with a palm okay and this is what the product looks like it's very runny because again it is oil based and right away i i i, I already can tell that i will love this more than the Huda beauty one because of the glow it provides me and not only that i love the fragrance the fragrance is very tropical and if you guys like that then you guys will most like you guys will most likely love this product so this is what it looks like on the hands and i love the sheen that it gives me first impressions i can't wait to wear this out to like the park or outside just somewhere outside i think that i will be glowing like a goddess so that's the first thing that i picked up the second thing that i picked up was this putty eye primer in the shade sand and I also love that Elf's brand is so affordable and they're vegan and cruelty free. So like, like why not shop with them? So I'm just going to unbox this. And it comes in a jar like this. And this is the inside. I wanted an alternative to my Fenty Beauty ampl Amplifying Eye Primer. So that's why I picked this up. And I love that it's colored because sometimes it's just i just want to skip that extra step of putting concealer or powder on my eyes so if this is a two-in-one and it works effectively and it's affordable then i will most likely just reach for this the entire time next i picked up this metallic flare highlighter in the shade 24 karat gold so let me just kind of box this for you guys so this is the packaging i love the the simpleness of the packaging this is the product already it's very reflective and again it's in the shade 24 karat gold so i'm just gonna swatch it this is how it swatches and okay first impressions of this this will be a very buildable wait can you guys see that yeah this will most definitely have to be a very buildable or natural highlight because if you guys want something simple, then this is honestly the perfect highlighter for you. But if you guys are going for something a little bit more dramatic but want to use this highlighter, then you guys will have to 
you know dip your brush back into the product and then put it back on your face but i think since i've been on a like natural makeup kind of kick this will be perfect for the summertime next i picked up this elf color correcting stick and this is the the dark circle corrector for deep skin tones and i mainly bought this because i wanted to compare it to the dragon beauty color corrector that i have this is what it looks like and i have oh, this is super creamy i don't know why i keep doing this to myself but yeah this is what it looks like actually i'm gonna swatch it on this hand so i can just show you guys this this is what it looks like i cannot wait i can already tell this might replace that and for a couple dollars this is not bad and i love the consistency of it because i am blending it out right now i can tell that this might this might replace it stay tuned for that guys because i most definitely will make a makeup tutorial or a like comparison between drugstore and high end for you guys because i want to let you guys know the tea next i got this elf glow gleam beam highlighting palette and this is the the highlighting palette in the shade dark this is what it looks like super cute and i love every one of these shades i and and it comes with no it doesn't come with the mirror i got so excited for a, a second but this is what it looks like i love this i love this let me test it out okay i went for the, the darkest shade and guys I have nowhere else to swatch I'm like looking for places on my body to swatch but this is what it looks like and this was just one swipe I can tell this is gonna be in a favorites video already I can tell because you guys know me in my highlight and if it's gonna have me glowing like this you guys will be able to spot me from a mile away because of my highlight this summer just watch next i got this elf halo glow setting powder it sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish and this is in the shade medium beige and it's another um loose powder i want to see and compare this also to the fancy one because they did claim to do similar things um so yeah i cannot wait to try this and see because honestly guys if this can replace half of my makeup then why not shop at elf like elf has everything okay next i got this prime and stay finishing powder in the shade medium dark i'm gonna open it for you guys and i got a pressed powder because i do set my eyeshadow primer after i put it on so i thought this would be perfect and this is what it looks like yeah this is gonna be perfect for setting my eyeshadow primer and i just love again how simple it is and also i can throw this in like my makeup purse or my makeup bag with a brush and if i'm oily when i'm out just you know on my face and my oils will be controlled so i am extremely 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 excited to try this next i got this mad for matte summer breeze eyeshadow palette look at this guys look at these colors and look at how matte it is it, it's been a long time since i did an all matte makeup look but i think i think it's time again let me just swatch these so i I'm gonna swatch this shade right here because that's what caught my eye first. Look at that guys. Look at that. And honestly, this this palette was like like five dollars, but like for five dollars you're getting all these shadows and they're super pigmented. Be ready because honestly, with the way this haul is going, I might have to place another order on e.l.f i also picked up two more eyeshadow palettes and they came in these boxes 
so these eyeshadow palettes guys were a dollar and eighty cents a bite-sized eyeshadow palette and this is in hot jalapeno i love these colors and i live for these colors these colors alone can be a whole look yeah, this is what it looks like and this honestly reminds me of one of the natasha denona palette so if this is a dupe and i be i got this for a dollar and 80 cents like oh, oh 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 you guys are not ready you guys are not ready for elf and they swatch amazingly let me just try to let you guys see what it looks like like look that was one swipe one swipe a dollar and 80 cents a dollar and eighty cents. A dollar and eighty cents. Plus, it's vegan and cruelty free. The other eyeshadow palette that I got, or bite sized eyeshadow palette I got, was this one right here. And you guys know that I had to pick this one up because I love me my berry tones, my red tones, every tones that look like this. And this bite-sized eyeshadow palette is in the shade very bad and again this is what it looks like i'm not gonna swatch these because i already am like running out of space on my hands but you guys saw from the hot jalapeno palette how they performed on this skin okay the last things that i got were lip products and i got quite a few i got five lip products guys five I outdid myself this time. So the first one that I got was this Sheer Slick, what is this, Elf Sheer Slick Lipstick in the shade Black Cherry. And it looks like this. You just twist it up, yeah, twist it up. And I mostly got this because I thought it was a tinted lip balm, but is it a tinted lip balm yeah it is a tinted lip balm honestly the finish is very balmy and there's not a lot of like color to it so i will be using this on days that i wear very light makeup i got another one in the shade dragon fruits and this is what it looks like let me just open it and just okay and swatch it yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is a little bit more pigmented than the other one, but I'm not mad at it. Next, I got a lip plumping gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. And this is what it looks like. I can already tell this is going to be my shade, my nude shade. Look at that super pretty and then i got another plumping gloss in the shade praline and this is a similar shade yeah most definitely similar it's that one wait no it's that one right there right there it's that one right there they're very similar, but I have been I have been gravitating towards lip glosses, those shades, so I'm not mad at that. Next, I got this lip lacquer in the shade Moody. And this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this shade that much, but oh, it's very sheer as well. So I might wear a lip liner under this just to manipulate the color a bit. And the last thing that I got from e.l.f., because we're almost there, the last thing that I got from e.l.f. was a gift from them. And I think it's because I spent over a certain amount of dollars, but still, like, affordable makeup and you're, you're getting a gift on top of that. Like, oh my god. Okay, so it, I chose this brush and honestly, I'm not mad at it. I can tell that this will put on my foundation very beautifully and i cannot wait to use this i want to see oh this is part of a collection the elf nebula or nabella noor collection i have no idea 
what that is or who that is or what brand that is if they collabed but i will do more research into it to find out and yeah I, I can't wait to start blending my foundation out with this i am worried that it will have streak marks because i don't really like streak marks because then foundation turns into a two-step process where i have to use a beauty blender on top of it but again i will keep you guys updated and that's it for our elf haul let me just clean up again honestly i did get a lot of stuff from elf and i'm not mad because everything came up to like 40 something dollars and i got so many things last but not least we have ulta ulta i didn't really get a lot of things but i got a lot of things my bank account told me i got a lot of things so i'm just gonna start with the complexion products that i got so i got things from wet and wild so i got the wet and wild photo focus foundation i've never tried this foundation but i have been hearing amazing things about it and i got it in the shade coco it does look like it will match me i didn't even like look into it but let me just a little bit on my hand yeah i do think it's gonna it's gonna suit my skin type if not again we can manipulate the color with our concealer and our contour this has been tested under setting light conditions and with or without flash and there was no flashback so i'm excited to see this especially since a lot of the makeup that i do is just to post on instagram um so i'm excited to try that out the second thing that i got was the wet n wild photo photo focus banana powder and this is what it looks like it comes in a jar and uh, this is in the inside and the only thing that i don't like about this powder is that it has talc inside of it and they do say that that talc is the thing that causes flashback but i do like that it's vegan and cruelty free so i want to really put this to a test one day and see if it actually does do what they claim it to do so yeah i'll keep you guys updated with that i know i continuously say that but i genuinely do mean it i want my channel to be based around beauty everything beauty related so i want to show you guys what works and what doesn't work since i spent a pretty penny at these stores so you guys don't have to do that okay so the last couple of things that i got were brushes and i got an assortment of brushes from real techniques and one type of brush from equal tool so i'm just gonna start with the real techniques brush the first one that i got was this real techniques face and body blender this is what it looks like and i mainly got this to blend out the huda beauty um body highlighter along with the elf body highlighter and if all goes well with this brush i will end up getting the Fenty beauty body highlighter because i, I want to try this but this is what it looks like outside of the packaging and i can already tell using this it's it has hairs all over so it's super dense and i cannot wait to use this and put highlighter all over my body i feel like it'll most definitely do its job it's super soft and yeah guys also i feel like this can be used with applying foundation to the body as well i will have to try it out for you guys because i do have a lot of acne on my body and i sometimes cover it up with foundation so this will be perfect and i like that it can just stand on its own so i don't have to put it in you know a container or a little cup that holds my brushes and this is 100 percent vegan and cruelty free so i love that the second brush that i got was this real techniques custom contour for bronzing and contouring makeup so it says control your contour on the side and i think this is like an adjustable 
um, contour brush. Let me just unwrap it for you guys. Okay, so first things first, I love this because it's kind of like a three-in-one brush. So there's this thing on the side so you can control how, you know, kind of packed together you want the bristles to be. So this is Max. And I think that this can produce a really sharp contour. Next you have Mid. And once you hear a little clicking sound, that means that that's the actual setting. Like it's it's set to that actual setting. And last you have Min. And this will be perfect to blend out like bronzer and stuff like that. And I think a mid for me will do a great job at blending out my contour and my cream contour. So I cannot wait to try this out. When I saw it, I just had to have it because like this has never been done before and I don't have to worry about carrying around like three brushes when I'm traveling for my contour. Okay, next I got this Real Techniques powder brush and it claims that it performs two times better than Prestige and I think that means like the like Prestige brands. And it says large super soft head sweeps powder evenly across face for a mattifying finish. But yes, and let me just unwrap it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what it looks like and first things first i love this brush i love 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 this brush because i just think that i can just take this and just like dab my brush into it and just put it on my t-zone to basically like mattify myself without having a small tiny brush to do that job i do use a morphe powder brush but this just feels very 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 luxurious and I didn't pay that much for this brush because these things were on sale, but I will have to give it a go in one of my tutorials and show you guys how it works and how well it works or how poorly it works. Okay, next I got this Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush and this is what it looks like. I've been blending my concealer out with a beauty blender for years and i wanted to change so that's why i picked this one up i just feel like it's going to be perfect for blending out my color corrector or my concealer and i specifically got this to blend out the concealers underneath my eyes and i can't wait to start using this one especially Lastly, I got this real- no, not lastly, because I have one more brush or a set of brushes to show you guys. So second to lastly, I got this Real Techniques blush brush or bronzer brush. And again, it's like a big like fluffy brush, but I do use a fluffy brush right now to blend out my blush. So I cannot wait. To use this and this is what it looks like so going back to the powder brush that I got let me just find it for you guys they look very similar like very 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 similar but this one is a bit narrow while this one just like you know flares out um and I just feel like it'll be perfect for applying like blush or it will be perfect for sweeping away my bake underneath my eyes and all over my face so i'm so excited to use this brush as well lastly i got this equal tools 360 ultimate blend brush and this is what they look like so when i first saw these i thought they were so interesting let me just open them for you and I love that this brand is environmentally friendly because you don't really see a lot of brands catering to the environment. So this is what it looks like. And I love this because like blending a foundation will be super easy with this brush. So this one says Ulta Ultimate Pop. This one says ultimate buff this one is bigger than this one 
and this one says and this one says ultimate cover so this is what it looks like and I'm excited to see what these brushes are. Honestly, I feel like this is really good for blending out found, um, concealer. This one will be good for blending out foundation. And honestly, this would be blend good for blending out like my cream contour on the side of my face or cream blush. So I'm excited to try these. And they're extremely... Like the, the brushes are... I mean, the, the bristles are extremely packed together. So... All of my product will not go to waste. They will go on my face. And yeah, guys. So we have finally come to the end of this haul. If you guys like this video, then please, please, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want me to try anything before, you know, me choosing what to try, then please comment it down below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys stuck with me till the end i appreciate you because we are in well this video is an hour into the recording i can only imagine how long it will be after i edit it so thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this whole journey i am excited to try out everything that i got because i love makeup shopping and I am once again finding my love and my passion for makeup and what better way in doing that than doing a makeup haul, a huge makeup haul at that. But don't worry guys, I made sure everything was on sale so I cut a bang for my buck. But yeah, if you guys like this video and want to see more videos like these then please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below while subscribing as well. Turn on your post notifications to be notified every time I post. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.